Hello everyone, today we are going to build a simple yet beautiful navbar using Tailwind CSS. Here I am in my VS Code with a blank Vue.js project. I have only installed Tailwind CSS and nothing else. And with regards to the front-end framework, you can choose React, Vue, Angular, Swelte, anything you want. We will not use any logic in this tutorial, so it doesn't matter which front-end framework you use, the code will be the same. Let's start by giving the page a background. I'll add flex so that we can align and position items inside this page. Now I'll add the background for navbar. I'll give a height of 12 and background white. Let's have a simple structure of what we will be creating. Just a rough idea and then we will improvise on that. So we'll have a logo, we'll have the nav items, then we'll have a sign up call to action. We can see on the top it's appearing. Now let's design this to look better. I'll give a full width to this and then add a margin of 4 and give rounded edges and add flex to position them. And I'll use justify between to spread them across the width equally. And also some padding so it doesn't touch the borders. Now for the logo if you have any image you can just use an IMG tag and give a source and add your URL but I don't have a logo so I'll just create some kind of logo looking uh, div so I'll use this div since I don't want any content I'm not uh, closing with the div tag I'm just using this so I'll give a size of uh, 4 whenever you want to give the same height and width to an element you can just use size instead of h4 and w4 and I'll give a background of orange and I'll make it fully rounded I'll duplicate this and give a different background color and after that I'll just add my uh, logo name now we'll position the elements inside this div we'll give flex and item center and for the first uh, div I'll add a negative margin so that the indigo color background will go on top of the orange one so it kind of looks like a logo and I'll add a margin right so that there is space between the logo name and logo Okay, so first part is over. Now coming to nav items, I'll use the nav tag and anchor tags inside. If you are using Vue or uh, React in a single page application, you can just use the link tag or uh, router link tag uh, to keep it global. I'm just using an anchor tag. I'll add a hover effect to this. I'll change the color on hover. I 
let me duplicate this and give different uh, names for this website so there is home could be services projects about page and uh, their team now let's add some gap if you don't want to use uh, flex and then gap every time you can just use a uh, space X so this way without using flex you can just use the space otherwise you can just add flex and then gap 6 So finally we have this uh, sign up button I will give a background of indigo color from our logo and add padding vertically py and horizontally px we'll also make its edges rounded and uh, the text white And we'll also give a hover effect to this. We'll change the color on hover to the orange color. Now it's changing color suddenly, like instantly. So let's add some transition so that it transitions smoothly while changing the color. So we can use transition colors property. And then we can give a duration of uh, 200 milliseconds. Now it's not instant and it's not very slow i like this but you can customize it according to your uh, desire i hope this tutorial was useful if it helped you please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more web development videos thank you for watching